Okay, we all know AI coding tools are more popular than ever, but often they're failing silently. I mean, producing code that's almost right. And that is extremely frustrating. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to me. Now, I actually pulled up this study and according to Stack Overflow, 66% of developers say the worst part of coding is the AI responses or using AI is AI responses because it's not quite right. It always gets it almost there, but it's never quite there. And in turn, oftentimes, I don't know about you, but I end up finding myself not using the AI coding tool or trying to find a new one. And the amount of time that takes, it's almost like, why am I using these tools to begin with? What is the solution, Tiff? We get it. It's tough. We hear your problems. The solution is a concept Warp calls agent steering, which is guiding the AI in real time, not just receiving code. Now, this is a new concept that I, or a concept that is new to me that I've been diving into, and I'm really excited to share it with you today. Now, first, before we get there, though, let's talk about some of the challenges with coding with AI tools today. One is traditional AI tools lack transparency. I create the prompt and then I'm essentially blind to what happens underneath. Developers still need control. Code that compiles, follows style, I mean, stays safe. Warp recognized that gap between prompt and production, and that is why they created agent steering to fill it. Which brings us to our next question. What exactly is agent steering in warp code? Okay, this is really cool. So warp code surfaces AI generated changes as inline diffs you can review, edit, or reject directly. No context switching. Another thing I really wanna highlight is you can refine prompts. You can interrupt and retry or attach context like a file, diff, or code selection. That's agent steering. I found that really cool because a lot of times I'm not able to interrupt in, in different tools. I'm not able to interrupt the prompt and you have to wait sometimes when it feels like hours. It's only typically like, you know, a few seconds, but it feels so long. So being able to interrupt, retry is huge. And with agent steering, this really keeps you as the author in control, aligning the AI's output with your code bases, rules, and style. All right, enough of me talking. Let's do a live demo and dive into it. All right, you can see here I am in Warp. And before we even dive into to starting to prompt with their agent, what I want to show is two things. One, I mean, first of all, you can see I just built this project. Uh, recently and basically what this project is is we are calling a nasa api and every day it is returning to us a new image of what nasa is taking a photo of so i don't know if you knew this this is something i learned recently maybe i'm really behind on times but nasa every day will release one image uh, from space that they take which is pretty cool so i thought let's start with that i've been really interested in space and then we'll build upon it but i just wanted to get that function working functioning first and then continue to build and see what we can do. First, you can see here, let's do uh, make run because I want to, I want it to see what today's image is, first of all. All right, so let's see. Wow, that's incredible. How is this part of our unit? Like, I, it blows my mind. Anyways, different topic, different day, but you can see the project is working. So it returns the date, media type, URL, and description. So, and it, I think it's really cool because the description it returns, you learn something new. And as you know, I'm all about learning different things every day and just small packets of information. Okay, side note, I had to share with what we're building. The main thing we wanna focus about and talk about is agent mode, which you can see you can toggle between agent mode and terminal mode down here. Now, one is a quick side note for prompting. I think this is really cool. You can actually do voice input, which is really interesting, especially I find voice input to be a great place to start with if you are going to be like me and you have to really get out your full idea or concept or thought in just more than one sentence. I don't know. So I, I find that really helpful. For this though, I wanna start by adding some retry logic. So I'm just gonna paste in here what I want to achieve, which is add retry logic with exponential back off to this API call. As I mentioned this, I mean, right now that might be overkill for what we are doing with this NASA project, but I know I wanna build it out further. So let's go ahead and try it out. First of all, one thing I wanna note is I am not speeding this up at all. Uh, this is in real time and I am so impressed with how quick it responds. I find so many different tools out there takes so long to think through things. Whereas with warp, it is what you see is what you get. And it's really quickly. And also too, it kind of gives you updates I find as to the steps it is taking, the agent is taking, and that makes it really feel collaborative. All right, so here we go. So you can see here it app, let's see, what does it say? I can see the current API client implementation. I'll add retry logic with exponential back off to both API methods. Very cool. And it says how it will implement this, which I think is really important as well. So right now you can refine, edit, or apply changes. In this case, I'm just going to apply changes. 
But it's once again that thing where it makes it more collaborative. You have the option to refine, edit, work with the agent, not the agent working on your behalf and sometimes kind of screwing it up a lot. This is you're working together. Now again, added retry decorator and constants. Okay, we're continuing on here. And then I love the comments too, they're very thorough. You can pause this if you wanna read through them fully, but just to give you a sense of what they are. Apply changes and we're warping. Okay, now I need to update the get a pod method to retry logic. So once again, it's really taking us through everything and even updating the comments too, which I think is really nice. Apply changes. I think this is a tool that obviously is meant for developers, engineers, but even too, if you are more of a tinker, I'll call it T-I-N-K-E-R, <laughs> that's tinker, is that a word? I think it's a really great way and you're looking to learn how to code even further, it's a great way because it isn't taking the learning out of coding, if that makes sense. All right, final implementation to make sure everything looks correct. Now let's run the tests to make sure changes don't break anything. All right, we got to install, make test, that is fine, yes. And I love how it always asks me too, like I feel like I'm still in control which is very nice. All right, we're warping again. So you can see here in a very short amount of time that it is working with you. You are collaborating together, which is pretty cool. Okay, now what it is doing is setting up a virtual environment. Let's do it. Oh, it's upgrading everything for me. Like, this is amazing. I need a coffee or something just to, you know, hang out with my agent. Okay, so now what we are doing is making sure the test, existing test structure uh, runs properly and creating a specific test for this retry logic. So I like how it also takes what you are working on and builds it out further. All right, this is a very simple example of this, how you can edit, refine, apply changes, and just communicate with their agent. I really like too how in the Project Explorer, it's really easy to use. The warp ND I find is super, super detailed. The warp markdown file. And you know, especially if you're working with a team, this is super helpful. All right, let me exit out of here. What do we got here? This is the retry logic. So let's do refine. Say if you clicked on refine, you can say, well, this is what I want to do with this test or change it or you know anything like that. Well, actually I don't really want to change anything, but you get the point, you can change it. Let's say, how can we improve this test? Okay, now it is creating an improved test, which is really cool. So it's one of those things, like let's build together, let's see what we can create together. All right, back to future tip. All right, that was really fun. I, I feel like we could keep on building for a long time here, but let's take it back a sec. Why does agent steering matter? Well, let's dive into some stats. You know, I am a numbers gal. I know a lot of you watching are numbers and data-driven individuals. So starting off with Warp's coding agent, it actually ranks number one on Terminal Bench and hits 75.8% on SWE Bench Verified, which is pretty wild when you think about it. Okay, I wanna dive into some additional features. One is built-in code review panel for line edits and reprompting. Another is native file editor with syntax highlighting, tabs and find slash replace, Vim key bindings, which is huge. Also too, one thing I found really helpful is project initialization with warp.md slash commands and agent profiles to customize agent behavior. So there's a lot to unpack there. I don't know, I, I think this is going to become my go-to, it is going to become my go-to platform, my go-to place to code. It offers that, as I mentioned earlier, that flexibility with still being so helpful. Like agent steering, when you really break down what it means, it's steering the agents. And I haven't found another tool to be able to do that because it doesn't exist. And it really makes building fun because you're still in control, but it's almost like having this assistant, if you will, with you. Okay, speaking of usage though, let's dive into some early usage stats. So users generate over 150 million lines per week. 97% of diffs are actually accepted. And this is really wild. Developers are steering nearly 3 million agents a day on Warp. I mean, in short, developers remain fully responsible. Warp emphasizes AI is a tool, not a scapegoat. You must understand all code you actually submit via the agent mode, which is huge. You're not just blindly submitting code, which we've seen some tools allow us to do in the past. And contextual intelligence. Code-based indexing and warp.md rules ensure agent outputs align with your project's conventions. So whether you're working on a startup and using this, building something for yourself, 
working for an enterprise. I mean, there is something for everyone. And this is probably one of the most cool concepts that's put into action, which is no IDE is needed. So Warp's vision is an agentic development environment, which is a terminal that combines AI, editing, review, and context tracking, which I think is so cool because it was the first time that I, I was building, I was like, wow, I, I don't need an IDE, which is really cool to think about. All right, we covered a lot in this video. Let's do a little recap. One is agent steering equals prompting AI inside Warp, reviewing diffs, refining on the spot, and shipping code you actually trust. Now, if you wanna start building with this and try it out yourself, my friends at Warp are offering their pro plan for only $1 in your first month. You can use the code TIFF and start building. After you do that, comment on this video what you are going to be building. I'm really excited to hear, because I don't know about you, but having these tools help you build makes me get more creative because it's things that, Part of it, maybe I would get stuck on or I'd have to reach out or go through so many different articles to figure out a solution. And with tools like this, it's you don't need to. So you can get as creative as you want. All right, go check out Warp. I'll see you all soon. Thanks, everyone.